So this question is from Structure and Bonding. You might have come across it at GCSE as well. It says sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide Na2O. Keep it there. It contains two atoms of sodium for every atom of oxygen. It says draw a dot cross diagram for Na2O. And the important is it says show out electrons only. Okay. So we need to look at where sodium and oxygen are in the periodic table. So sodium is in group one. Therefore, it has one electron in its outer shell. Oxygen is in group six. Therefore, it has six electrons in its outer shell. Now, the important bits are that the sodium wants to lose one electron. Every sodium wants to lose one electron, so it will have a full outer shell. Oxygen wants to gain two electrons. So it has eight electrons in its outer shell. So the way we show this is, if I draw the sodium in red and the oxygen in blue, is we're going to have a sodium. And we're going to have how many sodiums? We're going to have two. Okay. So that originally, when it was an when it was originally an element, had an electron there. But when it forms a compound, it gives it an electron away. It gives it away so it has a full outer shell. Then it becomes positively charged. How many charged does sodium become? It's lost one electron. So we put square brackets and we put a plus. There are two sodium atoms comes from there. How do I know if it becomes positive? How do I know if it gives or takes electrons? Metals give electrons. Metals become positive. Look at the oxygen here. But if I put there to O to show we know it's oxygen. Now it had six electrons in its outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six. But every sodium atom has given it one electron. And I'm going to show this by a dot. So that's from one of the sodium atoms. That's from another of the sodium atoms. And then that's gained two electrons. If it gains two negative things, then the oxygen will be double negative charge. So we put two minus. How do I know that it forms charges? So it's ionic. How do I know that I have to draw square brackets? How do I know they don't overlap like they do with covalent? It's an ionic compound because an ionic compound is a metal and a non-metal. So the metal is sodium. And the non-metal is oxygen. 